What's up, everybody? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970 Thanks for checking out this video. And I'll tell you something. I am so fed up with the United States government at this point. It is so ridiculous. For those of you who watch my channel know that I help a handicapped person. The man is almost 60 years old. His family abandoned him. He's been a friend of the family since the 1980s. The man had a stroke, has half of his body useless. He can't use it. The man can barely walk. He's like 450 pounds. Ever since he's gotten his stroke, he does nothing but really eat because he's depressed and trying to keep from killing himself. And since his family disowned him, I, because he's been a friend of the family, basically, so I consider him a family member since the 1980s, have let him stay at my house. I take him to welfare offices. I take him food shopping. Uh, there's lots of times I just do it for him. And now going on probably the 15th time, we have to go down to the government office again because his card gets declined and I have to use what little money I have to pay for his groceries so the man can eat. Now, I can understand if, if there are people out there that are trying to take advantage of the system. This is one of the people that absolutely is in need of government service. The man would die. And I'm so sick of this, the way this government treats its people. Because let me tell you something right now, for those of you who love any government throughout the world, when you think of every single war that's ever happened in history, who has started it? Has any of your next door neighbors where you live in, whatever country you live in, have any of them said, you know what, I really feel like killing a bunch of people today. Let's go down to another country or another village or another town or another city and let's go murder people. Sound like a good plan? No. You know who does it? The governments throughout the world. And they profit off of this and we all celebrate them. So you want to see this change? You got to stop accepting the fact that we need to be taken care of. If you can't take care of yourself, you should not even be on this planet. I mean, I can understand where people like this gentleman that I have to take care of. Well, I don't have to. I choose to because it's the right thing to do. People like that are the ones that need to be taken care of. The elderly, the sick, the people that are not taking advantage of the system. And now I got to take days off of my work. I got to go drive him to this place. I got to wait in line because he doesn't have the strength to stand. So I can repeatedly again and again tell this government, look at this person. The man is, meant, is handicapped. The man is almost 60 years old. The man had a stroke. And you keep declining his card so he can live? I am so sick of the hypocrites in this world. The governments that ride around in their limousines and their layered jets and live in their fancy homes and have no contact with the outside world unless they need your vote. And then they'll kiss your rear end all the time until you get the, they get the votes that they need, even though votes don't really count. And just think about it. The next time we bomb another country or we liberate, because supposedly, especially in this United States corporation, it's our job to police the world then why isn't our job to feed the world? Why is it always the hypocrites out there and all the people that are in the government that are destroying things and robbing and stealing from other people? Because I'll tell you something, they, this, especially in this country, it's such full of hypocrisy. They talk about how communism is bad and yet they'll do all the stuff with, with trades with China. We have all our business over there. They buy all our debt. They're such hypocrites. And they talked about during the... Um, the Summer Olympics, when it was over in Russia, how they were saying, oh, look at how the Russians mistreat dogs. Well, you know what? Look at China. Look at how they actually take dogs. They steal them from people's homes because they've been found with dog collars on and leashes. And they put, them, put 50 of them in a net and carry them off to slaughter them. But yet we don't have any news about that. Why? Because we do business with China. So I guess it's okay. If you have a problem with somebody and you want to create an agenda, you talk about certain things. But we don't talk about the Chinese, how some of the Tibetan monks have been so trying to get the message out that they set themselves on fire to protest the cruelty. How about the Chinese labor that's so unfair that instead of treating their employees better, they create suicide nets so people trying to commit suicide don't die. But yet we'll do business with them. We don't have a problem with that. You won't see it on the media. So you know what? This government and all the governments throughout the world are the cause of the problems. And if you don't see it now, you're either part of the problem, you don't care enough to do something about it because you're getting enough fiat currency to keep yourself well-oiled, or you're just part of the problem.
and I'm sure people won't like this, but I don't care. I'm so fed up with this shit. This government and governments throughout the world are the cause of all of our problems, and yet we applaud them. We give them chance after chance. I, I have actually had several videos where I've made it, or I've said, pick five people in your entire lifetime that work for the government that you could say were honorable people, full of integrity, that did nothing but good. I couldn't see anybody come up with even two. Ron Paul and JFK are the only two I've ever heard of. Even if you could come up with five, how many thousands of different politicians have there been just in the past decade alone? And look at all the wars. Look at all the profits. Because you know what? Wars cost money. They have to borrow money from banks. They get it interest-free. They charge you. So while they can print out money like it's no tomorrow and call it money even though it's currency because it comes from nothing, you have to work for your labor. You have to work for your labor. You have to earn that debt note so you could pay back plus interest so they can continue to borrow more. You're being suckered and you don't even care. Well, you know what? I am so fed up with it. And anybody that says love it or leave it, let me tell you something. Where are you loving? What are you loving? The wars? You loving the famine? You loving the people on welfare? You loving the fact that they mistreat all the people? You loving the fact that they murder people who speak the truth throughout history? You love the fact that they're putting you in debt and destroying the countries and letting people get murdered? You loving that? Because I had a place to leave to. I'd go there in a heartbeat. But every government around the world is all the same. It's a bunch of hypocrites, and we are stupid enough to applaud them. Well, shame on all of you, including myself. This is ridiculous. I'm so tired of this. Aren't you? You know, they want you to just be entertained. They want you to watch the football games, the baseball games. They want you to care about stupid people like Miley Cyrus and Lady Gaga and watch television. And you fight the very people who try and help you to protect those that are stealing from you. So I guess as long as it, they murder people overseas, I guess it's okay. As long as they steal the wealth of everybody else, as long as you have your comfortable little house that you're living in, I guess that's fine. You don't like this? Too bad. This is reality. If you want to say something brave, how about say something against the governments that are doing things to hurt people? What about all the animals that are cru that cruelty? They're very hypocritical. They'll pick certain countries that they have a problem with because they want to create an agenda. But there are same countries that they're allies with that they look the other way. Unbelievable.